Hello? Welcome aboard. Come on up. You are on board our 1992 Privilege 482. 48 feet in length, and it's got almost 27 feet of beam, almost 27 feet wide. Uh, which leaves plenty of room for a nice big cockpit. We have dual tables, uh, which is great. Typically eat here, but oftentimes have a project going where we sit can depend on where the shade is, but it's really nice having the two. Uh, benches come with storage in them. We've got snorkel, dive gear, um, cleaning supplies, a trash compartment, fishing compartment, more cleaning supplies, uh, our life raft, life preservers, spare lines, uh, lots and lots and lots of storage in this cockpit. We've also got two of these really big um, lounge areas. Um, some of the other boats have sort of built-in lounges, but with the fat boy cushions here, one on each side, um, really, really super comfortable and uh, almost always one, if not two, are in the shade. So we spend a lot of time just hanging out there. We've got our helm. Uh, our helm is in the back corner. Uh, it gives good visibility. There's no helm seat. Uh, so pros and cons. Um, wouldn't mind having a helm seat. Uh, the, the one advantage of that is that we do have an unbroken hard top here, which gives us room for 1600 watts of solar as opposed to, you know, if there was a sport top uh, popping up into one quarter or, or potentially even a fly bridge, which would then raise the boom. We've got a lower boom, a lower sail, but no, no seat at the helm. Davits are super high on this boat, which is great. Uh, we can get our dinghy way, way out of the water so that when you're underway, the dinghy's not getting pounded with waves. Lines come back here. So we got the jib sheets, uh, the main sheet, and, and no electric winches uh, on the boat. So everything's manual. Again, pros and cons to that. We got a grill uh, that we replaced. Um, a couple of engine rooms we'll walk you through. Uh, but in general, it's just a really nice, big, comfortable place to be. It's a good place to host. Engine rooms are really great on this boat. Uh, if you're not a boater, they may look dark and cramped. Uh, if you are a boater, uh, probably appreciate that they've got some pretty decent room. Uh, in the port engine room, we have hot water heater. We don't use much. Uh, water maker. We have a cruise RO. And then the engine itself. Starboard engine room, we have battery chargers, solar charge controller, the generator, and then uh, the engine itself. Welcome on board. Let us show you around our salon. This is the living room of our boat. There's a lot of things in this space that really work well for our family. Without having the galley up, it really opens it to allowing you to have the seating area for a table and a little bit of a lounge space. When we first bought the boat, there was another dining table right here. So you just had this thin little walkway to go through. We removed that and it made this perfect space to add a Dometic. Underneath all of the benches is tons and tons of storage. All of our dry goods and all of our um, canned goods and overflow from the kitchen. This is our magic little Mary Poppins cabinet. Really pulls out. We store all of our art supplies and school supplies in here. This is awesome. Uh, come on over this way. I'll show you my favorite part of the salon. My laundry room. Ah! 
this is just purely a washing machine it's not a combo uh, we've got nature outside to do the drying work for us but I really really wanted a washing machine and this used to be a nav station and one day I had the genius idea of what if we ripped out that desk and the chair and put the washing machine right here and it works great and I love having it right here in the salon can I come in? We call this the Hobbit Room. Any adult has to crouch to be in here. Hi! You can come on. So I have quite a few windows right here. Yeah. And on the other side right here, fans right there. Yeah. I have my own sink. It works. Um, I can brush my teeth, I can wash my hands. This used to be the crew quarters, and they had a little head in here. And now she has it as a wonderfully organized, beautiful closet. And that's right, yes, we do have a sparkly party dress, because, well, why not? Oh, would you like to meet Rose? Hi, Rose. He says hello. Thank you for showing us that. Welcome. That's pretty much it. See you later. All right. Come on down. Welcome to the heart of our home, our galley. When we were looking at buying boats, we were really unsure if we wanted to have a galley up or a galley down. And when we found this boat, we fell in love with it. And one of the reasons why was the space that this galley down offered us. We have tons of counter space. We have room for a big sink. We have a nice large range here with counter space to have our Breville toaster oven out all the time. This thing is a workhorse, we love it. We have tons of storage, some really nice uh, drawers with great storage, very organized. Love my little drawer dividers. This was an, a second refrigerator that the previous owners dismantled and we're just using it for some pots and pan storage. Uh, our coffee area gets us going in the morning. Um, we do have a nice large refrigerator here. It takes two hands to open, but lots of storage. It's kind of messy in there right now and a little bit bare. We need to go to the store, but, but here we are. This is it. The heart of our home. Let's find the door. Come on in. And so this is where um, Nate and I are currently sleeping. It is a little bit annoying. We would not have chosen this if we had had another option, but this is a bed in which you have to crawl over each other to get in. Um, countertop space, laundry basket, some cookbooks, and some overflow storage from the galley we use in here. This is a closet and some more overflow kitchen storage. And here we are in one of the four heads on our boat. Um, this one gets a lot of action and uh, it's kind of like our main bathroom. Nice little um, aromatherapy there to keep the smell of the salt water flush at bay. Yeah, it's, um, it's quite petite and not super attractive, but it gets the job done. I'm standing here in our shower stall. Um, we do not use this very often. We like to shower outside with a gorgeous view. The dream of mine to always have an outdoor shower, and now I do. Kyron, can I come in? Oh, hey, bud. <laughs> and this you is... You got shit on the bed. This is Kyron's room. Delete that part. Delete, delete, delete. What do you like most about your room bed? Um, the huge bed. The huge bed. Can we see it? Yes. It looks really comfy. It is. What's in the striped bag back there? Uh. Legos. Lots Le of Legos. Legos. Lots and lots of Legos. Karen's nice organized little storage. Uh, what's going on with your wall over there? Uh, Mom's doing that. Yeah. She won't stop. 
I'm in a little bit of a renovation mode. We're putting on a new ceiling in Kyron's room. It looks pretty good if you ask me. Not done yet, but looking good. And we're going to eventually take all this uh, vinyl paneling down and do some... Um, do boards some, like on the ceiling. Yeah, boards like on the ceiling, around the walls. Do a little bit of architectural trim. And Kyron has a nice closet not filled with very many clothes as you see. Kyron also has his own little head in here. It's very compact um, but he does have a toilet that's hiding under his laundry. Uh, these are cabinets that I just used for some overflow kitchen storage. This whole head becomes a shower as well. Okay, here we are at what would formerly be called the nav station. Um, boats function a little differently these days. Uh, we do not have a bunch of paper charts that we sit and roll out. Megan already talked to you about the washing machine and her genius about finding a spot for it. Uh, I won't mention my genius of actually getting it in here and all plumbed and wired and everything. But we still do have our, our central nervous system for the boat is here. I'll, I'll take you around. So. BHF, radio, um, super important for communications. We've got our Raymarine chart plotter. We, we use actually iPads for navigation primarily, but we've got the Raymarine system as a backup as well. So if one or the other were to go out, we would still know where we were in the world and what was around us. Um, AIS is a boat location technology uh, generator. Controls come on here, could turn it off and on. Uh, right here, this is our gauges, how much water we have in each of our water tanks, how much fuel we have, uh, how much power we're currently using, whether we're on shore, generator, or off-grid, uh, which is our preferred mode, which is what we're at. Um, 12 volt battery bank, you name it, it's here. Really intimidating at first, uh, especially for a non boaty like me, but uh, gradually it starts to make sense. With that, let's go down to the starboard hall and see what we got going on down there. Something that enabled many slash all of the other projects we had done uh, is a tool room. Uh, this was a bedroom before. It's not the biggest tool room in the world, but we're on a boat and it is fantastic. Uh, we're working on getting everything where we want it to be. This is one of my favorite things. This chest is just super accessible. I'm in and out of here all the time using stuff that I had no idea that I would be using in a prior life, but on a boat you use all the time. Uh, and then in here is composting toilet. Here it is. Um, ripped the old toilet out. You plop it in, um, drill a hole up top, put a vent in there. Being as minimal impact as we can uh, is important to us. We're more or less off-grid. We use diesel fuel. No, I don't want to pretend that we're more than we are, but uh, th this is a nice, you know, low-touch composting toilet. It was something we, we always knew we wanted. One of the things that I loved about this boat when we first saw it was the wood. Well, here's where the wood really shines. Come this way. This room that I'm standing in now, or this cabin, is the stir bedroom. It is currently a construction project. This will eventually be, I hope, a very beautiful, bright, sunny master bedroom. We have a head here with a separate shower. We have um, hanging storage in here, some uh, drawers and more storage. It's really um, great. We have storage hanging and more hanging and cubbies and cubbies and shelving and actually our uh, lithium batteries are in here. This cabinet is where we put all of our wet gear. This was actually an old shower for the crew. This is all um, our library back in here, lots of book storage. Once this is done, I think it's gonna be a really nice master suite. And finally, as we move forward from the helm, we have a number of nice big hatches up here. Uh, the first small one there you see, we keep water and spare dock lines. We have a really big hatch to the right, uh, 
which we have a dive compressor amongst lots of other things. Uh, two really great trampolines. Uh, spent a lot of time lounging on the fat boys up here. And then on the uh, port side, the same thing. We spare diesel, uh, holding tanks, any number of other things on the big port locker. We want to put a, um, a shade cover up here. Um, but other than that, uh, it is a nice place to be. Okay, we have taken you all around our Privilege 482, uh, and we just wanted to recap with really a few of the main things that come to our mind as the absolute, you know, highlights, the pros, and then, you know, the cons. Every boat has trade-off. So fundamentally, this is a go-anywhere boat. Big enough for us, for a family of four, but it's sturdy. It's got big, thick fiberglass hulls. Uh, it has big tanks, lots of water storage, lots of fuel storage. Uh, having a really wide beam, it makes our platform much more stable and hey, it gives us more space. So one of the things that I really liked about this boat when we first saw it was its vintage charm. And with that, with the age of the boat, um, we were a little bit worried that Nate wouldn't be able to stand up, but this boat does have high headroom. A couple of cons. Um, I already mentioned it, helm seat, I'd like to have a helm seat, this boat doesn't. Uh, the crawlover beds, I, you know, it'd be great if we own, each had our own access to the, to the beds. Um, and some of the aesthetics are tired. Um, cons for me, Nate mentioned the helm, well not having any cover or shade there, any weather protection. Um, also poor visibility, I'm sure I cannot see very well from the helm station. Uh, the aesthetics, yeah, that's a big one. We're slowly working on updating the aesthetics, going to change out the cushions and the wall and headliner panels. Um, we don't have any electric winches on the boat. I think it would be really nice to have an electric winch to raise the main. Black sheep, black sheep, samba, samba. Thank you, samba. We have a VHF on our boat. Works well. It does work well. And Nate at 7'4 can stand up in... 7'4? Yeah, he's really tall. 6'4, which you're getting it right. I agree. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to yeah. shorten that out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look out, pirates. We are armed. Karen made that. Um, and we have a spear. Yeah, and some wooden guns. Watch out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe.